Hello and welcome to a Lightning Tool screencast with me, Phil Duffy. I'm going to be showing you today BCS Metaman. So the new version of BCS Metaman runs within Visual Studio 2010. We've added our BCS Metaman diagram. So we can now, we've connected to our database and we can drag our employee table onto the diagram. We'll click finish. So we've chosen the identifiers, we click finish, and you'll see on the right hand side the files are being generated for us to be able to work with this enterprise content type. So once that's finished it will bring us back to our diagram. We can actually go in, if we go into the entity we can see all of the properties, so these are the columns. We can also go in to the service and we can see, if I minimize it down here, we can see the three methods. So we have the finder, specific finder, and ID enumerator generated for us. If we want to go in and add another table, so we've got employee, so if we add department, it will then go through again, it will generate this code for us. We don't have to do anything. The application definition file is being written for us in the background. So once this comes back, we'll do the last thing I'll show on here is if we wanted to associate these two entities or two enterprise content types and just draw an association department to employee. So it's going to send across the department ID. And click OK. So you can see our arrow is showing us that it's an association has been created. We can see the method has been created for us. And if we go in and we can have a look and we can see that the association method has been created for us to retrieve back the employees for that department. And then all we need to do to begin to use this within SharePoint is press F5. And this will build and deploy our application definition file for us. So there you have, within Visual Studio, you have the ease of drag and drop with the power of Visual Studio 2010. Thank you for watching.